It is no stranger to men of faith, who are driven to fight with a fury no king or sultan can inspire. From across the sands and the seas, they fight for the Holy Lands, to ensure the hell that is their lives will grant their passage into heaven. Hello everybody, hello and welcome to the start of Let's Play Medieval 2 Total War Crusades Campaign as the Byzantine Empire. As stated in my uh, video update in the early hours of this morning, it is the two year anniversary of me doing LPs. Oh, what a what better way to celebrate than to commence another Medieval 2 based campaign. So, let's get this show on the road, shall we? As chosen by you, we are going to be the Byzantine Empire. A little bit of a blurb here, which I will read. A bit of a background history. <clears throat> into the uh, into the faction we're going to play. So, Byzantium is essentially the Greek-speaking remnants of the Eastern Roman Empire and the centre of Orthodox Christianity. The Byzantines themselves merely see their empire as an unbroken continuance of the Roman Empire and its emperors. The empire is currently a shadow of its former self, having lost a great deal of territory in Asia Minor to the Seljuk Turks, and in other areas to internal strife and civil war. Current Emperor Manuel I is a dynamic leader and a resourceful general determined to build on the progress made by his immediate predecessors in restoring the Empire to its former glory. Uh, the Byzantine Empire will need to regain its losses to the Turks in Asia Minor as well as the regions lost to internal strife before it can expand into other factions' territories. Fortunately, the Seljuks as well as the Egyptians are more focused on the Crusader states, but should they fall, the Byzantines are unlikely to withstand a united Islamic offence. As such, some cooperation with the Crusader states will be necessary for the Empire's well-being. The Byzantine Empire was created on the back of a strong military tradition. Although much smaller than in the past, the Empire's forces tend to be well trained and disciplined. The Empire's forces consist of a wide range of unit types, from heavy cavalry to infantry, and many ranged units, including the devastating Greek Flame Thrower. Which I soon hope to make use of, because fiery death shall return with a vengeance when I burn my enemies to a crisp. One campaign. As last time, we're going to go for a hard campaign difficulty with medium battle difficulty. We're going to manage all settlements ourselves, including those with no governors. We're going to show the CPU moves so we know what they're doing. And uh, we're going to put a battle time limit on, merely because if something does glitch or crash, having no battle time limits basically screws you up. So that's it. Let's get started. The Holy Lands, Outremer. A land of faith, a land of 
war. Byzantium, the majestic gateway to the East and the Crusades. The Principality of Antioch, a proud crusader state and home to the Hospitallers. Jerusalem, the holy city, a kingdom forged by blood, steel and faith. A place revered by the faithful and coveted by many. In the east, the mighty Saluks, led by Nur ed-Din, fighting to drive the accursed Crusaders into the sea. And to the south rises the cunning Salah al-Din, builder of an empire, an empire ready to grind the Crusaders into the desert sands. This is a time of faith, a time of battle, a time of total war. It's always a time for total war, my friend. So here we go. 1174 AD. And here we are. Once again aboard the campaign map, as I instantly use A, S, W and D to try and navigate the uh, campaign map. <laughs> To no, sir, to no gain. I'm uh, in Shogun 2 mode at the moment. I have been playing Survival of the Samurai. And uh, I'll have to get used to the old medieval way of uh, maneuverability. Even more so on the uh, battle map, should we get to that stage anytime soon. Unlike my Medieval 2 English campaign, I haven't done any modifications to the, uh, to the text file. So I uh, do not have the year number here. It is the number of turns. And I haven't modified the length of the campaign. So uh, apparently we only have 200 turns to accomplish what we need to accomplish. But that should be plenty of time. Because, uh, yes, the Byzantines being the uh, descendants of the Romans, I think it's about time we went back to our glory days. No messing about. No uh, dawdling. We are going to reap havoc through Asia Minor initially and retake what is ours. Hopefully in a flash or as near as can be. So uh, <clears throat> the first order of the day pretty much for this entire set of updates um, is going to be me taking stock of my of my uh, of my empire as it stands right now, and uh, hopefully trying to stabilize it from within and prepare for any sort of occurrences that may happen in the near future, uh, and preparations for what we're going to do in the near future too. Now. Uh, I am a sort of person that likes to start campaigns with one or two settlements, you know, one or two provinces which, and then build up yourself, build up your own empire as per your ideals, as per how you want it to be. So being lumbered with a massive uh, king uh, empire here that spans, an, you know, the entire length of the northern edges of Asia Minor spread so thinly, uh, it's actually quite daunting and overwhelming, so you'll have to bear with me if I seem to be taking a long time to do uh, what may just be simple things, but I'm, I'm going to have to try and take stock here. Now, uh, obviously we're going to have to have a plan as to what we want to do. Um, I think diplomacy-wise... We are enemies with the Turks. That is a, a given. We know the Turks have some lands round about here and some round about there, so we are going to be in immediate conflict with them, so we need to prepare our borders pretty quickly. But as it was pointed out to us at the uh, introduction, we should really look to be making some, well, if, if not alliances, try to at least stay on friendly terms with the Crusader factions who are also at war with the, uh, with the Turks. Sp particularly the uh, Principality of Antioch, who somewhere around about there, they are too are at war with the Turks, so if we could sort of ally with these guys, it would definitely provide us with a, uh, a handy boon. So that was going to be my one of my first ploys. Now we do have a princess here. Your Majesty. Maria Comnenus. You shall assist yes, Lord. our spy, Ermanis, in trying to... Uh, Without a tray. Search out <clears throat> the principality. Yes, happily, my lord. And get I me stop here for the night. an alliance. 
That is what you shall do. We have another spy somewhere over here. Sire. Who shall s seek out our enemies? The In Turks. Today's journey is over. Okay. This man yes, here sir. is going to go to our borders and build a watchtower to keep an eye yes, Lord. on the Building situation. And then March. he's coming back. Where to, sir? Inside. I'm a Comnenus. She sounds rather famous. I I I I, I recognize this name. Anna Comnenus. Uh, there's no friendly alliances to make here. <coughs> so we'll, we'll start off with the Turks. And see if we can. Simple agreement? See if we can. Uh, How could they refuse me? Hello, Your Highness. <laughs> see if we can. Uh, Negotiate a peace, a peace treaty to give us a little bit of a breathing space. I highly doubt it, but you don't know if you don't try. Yes, Lord. So that is pretty much our agents almost sorted. We have a merchant here. Yes, my lord. Yes, moving. Do, do some trading or something. This you know. is as far as I may go today. Yes, very good, very good, excellent. Uh, who else do we have? Uh, Anna. Your Majesty. Uh, Hello, Your Highness. Ready to trade, sire. My lord, where to, sire? That's everybody. Now, unlike in the uh, English campaign, we're not members of a Catholic faction. There's no pope here to worry about, so therefore, God's servant. Recruiting priests for every settlement is probably not as necessary. I think our priests would better be suited heading out into uh, Islamic states and converting the populace to orthodox Christianity in preparation for taking those lands and also to instill a little bit of re rebellious tendencies in their settlements more so than converting our own populace because it's fair I mean obviously it's not totally orthodox Christian but the churches alone should be able to convert at an adequate rate in our own lands and I don't think any of our lands are too shabby when it comes to uh, <coughs> to religion Mm. We'll do a settlement check later on, but for now I will head him out into enemy uh, territories. Traveling with God. Do some converting. Continuing tomorrow, my Spread lord. Spread our good faith <coughs> and cause disruption to the enemy. Um, I think lord. we better give ourselves and uh, some more eyes on the prize and put a, a, a watchtower over here. Okay, okay. Yes, Lord. And go Building back inside. I watch there we go. Just keeping our eyes on the situation. Similarly, we have a yes. general here, but uh, I'm going to come to these settlements at a later time. I'm <clears throat> deciding what to do. Orders. Okay, so that's my units. My units are now sorted. That is the first step, shall we say. 